Welcome, friends, to another episode of Pray Alone. Today, we are going to read from Matthew chapter 17, verse number 20. Let us hear the word of God. So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a master seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here today, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. May the Lord add blessings unto his reading. Friends, this is a very beautiful passage of scripture. And in this passage, we find a man who brought his son who was demon-possessed to the disciples to heal the boy. Unfortunately, the disciples failed to heal this boy. He did not give up. He proceeded unto Jesus. And when he brought the boy to Jesus, this was Jesus' first reaction. You faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? After those statements, Jesus cast out the demons from the boy. And instantly, he received his healing. Beloved, shortly after that, the disciples then went to Jesus to find out, Master, what was your secret? What is it that you have that we don't have that we couldn't help this boy? Now, Jesus made that beautiful statement in verse 20. You unbelieve. And he told them, assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith like a master seed, you would tell the mountain to move from here to there. And of course, nothing will be impossible for you. Beloved, from biblical context, mountain symbolize a challenge or some kind of obstacle that we have to overcome. And I'm here to submit to you today that we all have some form of mountains in our lives. Mountains of fear, mountain of anxiety, mountain of unresolved marital problem, mountain of sickness, mountain of childlessness, name them. And these mountains that you have in your life, beloved, if you have faith like the master seed, today, as you come alone for us to pray, we are going to commit all this mountain to the feet of Christ. And the Lord will meet us at the point of our needs. What has been your mountain? What are you going through these days? Without faith like a master seed, the Lord is going to heal us. Faith is substance of things we hope for. Evident of things that we have not seen with our eyes. I encourage you that come alone and let's pray. Come alone and let's seek the face of the Lord. I'm not too sure what you are going to remember. The man did not take his son to the Sangoma. The man did not take his son to any other place that he cannot receive healing. But he sought to go to the presence of Jesus Christ. I'm encouraging you, come along and let's pray and take our problems, our supplications unto Jesus Christ. And he is faithful to meet our needs in the fullness of time. I'm not too sure what you are going through now. I'm not too sure what really is taking your joy. Of course, we know what the enemy is doing. He is behind our suffering. But I want to encourage you, this is the faith that can move mountains. So I want you to have faith in Jesus Christ and come alone and let's pray. He is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what we ask or imagine according to the spirit that rests in us. Beloved, I'm inviting you. Come and let us go to the feet of Christ and he will meet all of us at the point of our needs. I'm not too sure what you are going through. But I'm going to invite you to come for us to pray. He is able. And this is the confidence that we have in approaching him. That whatever we ask according to his will, he will hear us. Beloved, come. Stop crying. God is about to heal you. But all what you need today is to have a faith. If that faith is just small like the master seed, the Lord will heal you. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Father, what a privilege for us to come into your presence at this hour with our burdens. Dear Lord, we are broken 
some of us, we are going through difficult challenges. But indeed, you have reminded us that if our faith is like a master seed, we can overcome all the mountains in our lives. Lord, I pray that increase our faith. Help us so that we can be able to come into your presence at this hour. We are coming with our sicknesses. We are coming with our unresolved marital problems. Lord, please come and abide with us in Jesus' name. Amen.